Hello, we're looking at this great desktop and um, we want to have a similar look as this one here. We've chosen for this kind of look. Love Dark is the icon set. We're going to make Arc Dark Love and Arc Dark Love here and Arc Dark Love there. What's the result? So you're looking at it. This is the bluish from love. All the sliders are nice. When you open your Nemo folder, your file explorer, you get this here. All blue. You get the calendars that are blue. You get all little accents like this here. The search entry is blue. So this is what I name what I call a consistent desktop look but of course the arc theme we're happy to have it but the arc theme the original one which is this one from Horst is the one that's looking with another kind of blue so what we'll do we'll follow a tutorial on the website of uh, arc theme Sun here and Sun is just the name of the color, which is a gr an orange kind of color. And it just fits with my uh, Sardi icons. As you can see, it's the same kind of color. So if you say, I don't want to build all of this, I just want these themes you're look we're looking at. They can be downloaded and they are inside this little folder. You place it in the hidden folder, in your home folder, dot .teams. And then you select it with your team manager but if you say no no i really want to have my own color i really want to change uh, the theme that is been given for free by the git uh, the creator uh, horst 3180 then you follow the tutorial we will make one okay let's put that out of the way let's maybe start what you can't follow but I have to do it I go to my themes and I delete what I've made so this is our end result we are going to delete original files this is how I made it on my desktop checking the themes if there are still themes in my user share themes no they've gone so we've cleaned everything we can start from scratch again let's get rid of all the things we do not need themes let's arc dark is no more so let's go back to the basics mint white dark mint white dark and mint white dark so that's it we're ready to rock and roll like they say so we move up you read what's said here build the team ourselves this is what we're going to do you should install quite a bit so we've just deleted everything that is to be deleted but then the name is a little bit different you do sudo apt-get install all of these opti-png inkscape autoconf automake the guides windex mint we take this and this as well and we install git why git because it's so easy to get software from github just copy paste this copy and let's start go to the desktop open in terminal let's put that here right mouse click paste enter the complete github is on my desktop so here we have it if you say no whatever i just give me the themes just copy paste them inside of this folder and then you're good to go we will have to look at the code a bit so let's put it here I'm going to delete this one it will be a bit and this one another one well and this one is that one this one I shall delete as well sorry for the confusion so we have to change we want to change the color we have this great color here from the love icon team 
Oh, love. I don't know how to pronounce it. So I'll keep it with uh, love. So we going. We have done step one. We have to change the color. Step two. What color is this? Okay. Sudo apt install gpic gpic or any other to uh, use uh, tool on your system and you press on the one or the two or the three or the four let's take four you go to an icon and you hover over it and then you see the color already here and when you press enter oh no sorry spacebar then it's here you can keep it forever you copy to the clipboard I take a piece of paper and write it down 0 3 a 9 f 4 it will be important so this is the color the accents we are having in the arc theme will change into this kind of color first don't run it read the text because you have to do something always what shall we do? We need to check that all the colors everywhere are capital. So the blue hexadecimal code is this one. I'm going to change all the small letters to big letters, just to be safe. So nothing has changed. After this, nothing has changed. Then we're going to change all the blue colors with capital letters to something else. Yeah. So we're going to change them not to the sun color or any other color. This is another color I see. We're going to change it to 03A. Capital or not capital doesn't matter. 03A 99F4. Or we should, could just have copy pasted it but do remember to delete this one we don't need that one okay so that's uh, the first thing what's gonna happen is going to change all instances everywhere in every CSS in every CSVGs very interesting otherwise a lot of Inkscape work but it's not going to change the PNGs. We have to do something else for that. Okay. So it's going to change old colors into the new color. Save. Run it. So dot of point slash one tab. Enter. It's going to change everything. Everything has changed. Incredibly how fast that goes. I couldn't have done it myself in Inkscape that fast. Let's have a quick look. What did we do? Let's go always go to the same folder. This one, so you can see. So this is the file. Just press F5. You see in the bottom here, right bottom, loading. Push him by pressing F5. And then you can open the assets SVG. This is all in blue. This is our love color. So this is a main file where all the little elements are coming from. But we still have to create those elements. But the old elements are here. This is the old blue. We want to get rid of that. We don't want those colors. We want the new colors. So we go back up here. Here we have a second step. And the second step is explained here. Next up, delete all assets. It is PNGs must be deleted with the script number two. So we press two and run it. But first, let's take a look at the script. Delete assets. We have to delete parts of the theme. In the folder common, in GTK2, in the assets, everything should go and all the folders with all the bluish kind of icons everything should go all right 
let's kill it. So dot slash two, it's enough. Press tab, enter, gone. Quick check. GTK three, three twenty assets. The old ones are gone. Fine. Back on top. Let's make them again. Okay. Making the assets takes time. Depending on your processor, processor, you have a long time to wait. So I say it's time for you to take a coffee. No joke. It will take as long as it takes. Some echoes to tell is, to, is somewhere there because I was waiting and waiting and I wondered where are you now. So these are the lines telling you, okay, we are working on that kind of folder or that kind of folder. And in the end, we'll have this uh, text here and it will say everything has been created. Next up, you have to do this and you have to do that and then you're good to go. Okay, let's make this assets by running the code. Dot slash three, tap, enter. As you can see, he's now creating all kinds of things. He's working in a GTK 2.0 folder at the moment. So he's working here and he's creating every little icon. Let's wait for a blue one to pop up and then pause the movie. Here are the blue ones we des desperately want. And as you can see, all I have to do is what he says to do. I'm going to take myself a cup of coffee. My coffee is finished and so is the script. All assets have been made, SVGs have been exported from the assets, from, uh, assets SVG files and converted to PNGs. Next up is installing the icon theme, which is written over here. Do this. Let's quickly take a look what he has done. He has changed all that. And everywhere he has done that also inside the tree, for instance, 3020 assets all in the blue we like all right so almost there guys almost there go back to here we've done this we've done that we've done that it's now time to run this one and we have to do it in the correct way meaning we have to do this we type auto gen and we copy paste it from here prefix user don't forget to add that otherwise it will be installed somewhere else that's in the watch out so when you do it when you forget it then you learn eh? prefix is user so it's going to install it in user share teams where it should be and then we press enter hopefully you get no errors and then last but not least, the most important one, install what we just made, sudo make install. He asks my password, that's why it's sudo, because it's going to be written in up here, you can see it, user share themes arc dark sun. Meaning we're done, meaning we can minimize everything and take a look at what we have made. So you go to your team manager on your respective distros and you take a look and find Arc Dark Sun, Arc Dark Sun and last but not least Arc Dark Sun. And there you have it. All the little accents are now blue as well as here. All the elements are blue. And here and here don't forget the calendar as well so every element is now more consistent with the theme we have our love icon theme which is bluish and now we have our uh, arc dark theme which is also in the same color 
hope your uh, project was successful and um, if it was successful please share it with others so that others don't need to know all this kind of uh, installing and that they just can copy paste the, your code that you made into the hidden folder teams maybe the last thing indeed when I said it I remind I reminded myself of something so what happened now um, let's go to the themes folder here we have made two new ones three new ones this one this one and this one are new maybe they're not they're not perfect yet so you just copy them and you copy them to your personal themes so your own home folder and you paste them here and then you can change a little stuff uh, like for instance I think what you should do is rename it eh? Sun is not the name the name is love love and don't use these special kind of letters the special letters just love and then don't forget to go to the index theme and change the year to a love and then we are almost ready to end the movie save please yes so this was the Arker Dark Love, the same goes for the index team here. Save. Almost forgot to do this. It's quite important because then you remember, okay, this was the blue one. And that was the other one because you're going to make if it's that easy you're going to make more of these themes and now you know it's it's for the icon set of love so that's done last thing if it's locally here you still have the themes here if you want to get rid of the themes here these guys it's also written here somewhere if you want to uninstall you can install with with this line sudo remove user share themes arcson arc darkerson and arcson so copy go inside here paste and the guys are gone if i give the password and there is only one arc here here there's no more arcs so this is the one we have now still remember C should be blue but as you can see the name has changed so so should he oops that's the wrong one so should he so arc dark love and arc dark love and arc dark love now everything is as it should be and it's where it should be i think it's in your personal uh, folder meaning when you come across an item they say well it's not so the way i like it then you can at least go inside the folders and say i'm gonna change some css files uh, for instance cinnamon css we're working on linux mint cinnamon and you say i don't want this and i want, don't want that then you can open it with uh, the possibility is sublime text another to sub uh, possibility is brackets also a very nice one um, and then uh, change items well I hope your project was successful like I said share please so that others don't have to go through the same process and uh, well have fun with your computer that's the general idea